just like this. this amazing sausage here it's from this place it's been here for 29 years and apparently it's one of the best you can find in all of Krakow so let's dig in that sausage man so great mm. Mm. The only way you can eat it just like this. Delicious. Mm. I'm gonna get myself another one. <laughs> Another one. One more? Yeah, but without the bread, just the, okay. the sausage. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a real pig. It's my second one. They don't need to be so good. So I'm gonna enjoy this one a lot. Well, there goes my second one. I actually never thought I would say this, but I love sausages. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm having a walk now at Plenty Park in Krakow. This is how it looks. The park encircles the old town of Krakow. And it's a really nice place to wander around in the morning. You have people cycling, running. Yeah, it's a nice place. There you can see the beautiful Barbakan. It was built in 1498. Once a fortified outpost connected to the city walls. And uh, yeah, now it's a gateway to the old town of Krakow. to walk in Krakow in the morning look here the Florian gate 33 and a half meter tall and it's one of the last eight original built towers in the Middle Ages so nice place and here you have Florianska Street it's the main street of Krakow very early in the morning not much people yeah, but in the afternoon it's really nice here to walk
now at the main square in Krakow. It's a square from the 13th century and it's one of the largest medieval squares in all of Europe. Check out how nice this is. It actually has two parts, so behind this building there is another part of the square. So this is the square at the other side of the Clot Hall. So you can actually see how big it really is. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Right here we have the beautiful Krakow Clot Hall from the Renaissance era. It used to be a major trading center and now it's actually full with stalls with touristy items and everything you can find there. It has a really nice cafe at the top which I will visit later. So it's really nice here. hour at the hour a trumpeteer will start playing at the St. Mary Basilica at the top of the tower suddenly the music stops and it's because in 1241 the guy who was uh, alerting the city for incoming invaders was shot through his throat <laughs> St. Mary Basilica is really worth a visit. It's this one here. Famous for the midnight sky ceiling and the white stoves. Altarpiece. It's the largest Gothic altarpiece in the world. So it's really beautiful to see. So let's go check it out. restoration works inside the St. Mary Basilica but I can imagine that it will be really beautiful once it's completed really worth a visit and coming to Krakow I think
very beautiful building this was the university i did not visit the museum but still look at this this is the building it's the oldest building built as a main campus in the late 14th century and the most famous student was Nicolaus Copernicus known as the father of modern astronomy so yeah here he studied I'm here at the church of St. Francis of Assisi, which is here. It's a church from the 13th century and it has an exact copy of the Shroud of Turin. St. Peter's and Paul Church right here. It's my favorite in Krakow exterior wise. Look at the beautiful facade constructed with dolomite rock. So beautiful. in the steak looks very tasty oh my god look how juicy this is I'm gonna try it mm. Mm. amazing mm. so I just had lunch at this place because of a recommendation of somebody on Instagram and I have to say that steak was amazing so good so if you visit Krakow and you like steak for sure check this place out Hill. Beautiful view. Good bridge here. Very nice. So sometimes people ask me why you travel alone? What's the fun in it? Well, sometimes you meet nice people. Yeah. <laughs> She's Belgian, by the way. Uh, what's a coincidence?
Do you think you will like it? <laughs> yeah, we will like it. <laughs> sure. Well, let's see. I just arrived at Nova Huta. It was designed by the Soviet Union as a model city, like you can see here, the old Soviet buildings. It's one of the only two fully planned socialist realism cities in the entire world. So it is really unique. So it was built for a population of about 100,000 people. And the city, the complete city was built in a matter of just a few years. So. And every detail was carried out like perfection, like they wanted to be an amazing city. And um, if you see there, that's the main square. So right now I'm at the main square in Nova Huta, like you can see here. Actually here you can see the typical Soviet architecture, like you see the, the pale grey buildings. And there where that little park is, there was supposed to be a huge statue of Vladimir Lenin. It was taken down in uh, 1989 after a lot of local protest against the statue. So the city decided to, to take it down. Hi, my friend. How are you? <laughs> here in Nova Ruta it actually reminds me a lot of Kiev I really can't believe how big Nova Ruta is if you think about it this is built in a matter of years so a lot of uh, green space as well but besides that not much to see only buildings 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 parks <clears throat> and of course like in every former Soviet city crazy ta taxi drivers <laughs> This church in Nova Huta that was a really nice find. Very beautiful building, nice architecture. What's special about this church is uh, that it came when it was still communism here, and uh, the communism regime was uh, very much against the building of this church. But eventually, uh, it got through. So, it's a nice place to visit when around in Nova Huta. I just arrived at the Polish Aviation Museum. It is considered to be one of the best uh, aviation museums in the world. So I'm really, really, really excited to check it out.
so they even have the helicopter of the Pope here John Paul II look this is it very nice one some MiG fighter jet Czech Air Force hmm. oh so cool very very nice museum unfortunately it's all in Polish not much information here in English we even got Belgium jets here My jet is already waiting. Amazing how many planes are here. Oh. We're gonna take off. if you have time to visit this place for sure do the Polish Aviation Museum it's a great place it's not so expensive as well 15 zlotys I paid but if you go on Tuesdays it's free to enter for everyone so yeah awesome place So I'm here at the Heroes Ghetto Square in uh, Krakow. You can see all those chairs here in the square, surrounding the square. It's actually our 33 of them and they symbolize the tragedy of the Jews uh, during the Second World War. So actually a lot of people, the inhabitants that lived in Krakow were sent to the, the ghetto and from there uh, they lost their lives inside the ghetto or were sent to death camps uh, like Auschwitz for example uh, so yeah it's a, it's a real tragedy and places like this remember us uh, why we should not fight and uh, have crazy wars and everything so just all get along together and never have to face something like this again Jewish district is so nice to explore so many bars cafes places to go out it's so nice here we have the music club you can see 
So, uh, yeah. And here's something. Some old Jewish synagogue, I think. Yeah, it's really nice. It's especially nice when you come here in the evening. Very great atmosphere. So, yes. Very nice. Krakow is also known for its amazing street food scene. So what we're gonna do now is uh, eat some street food. So my pulled pork burger has arrived. Looks very nice. So let's try this. so good you can see the juice inside so juicy let's take a big bite mm. so I just finished my pulled pork bun it was very nice very tasty juicy meat uh, yeah cannot complain about anything it was about 26 zloty with the drink so it's really nice Krakow is the Wawel Castle, built by order of King Kazimir the Third, the Great. So is this area here? Let's see. It's actually one of the largest castles in Poland. So, so really nice to visit when in Krakow. It's a nice park, green areas, benches. Really nice place, I can recommend it. Very nice view on the Wawel Castle. Very nice place to wander around. Very beautiful. Look at this view, also really nice. One of the best spots in Krakow for sure. So apparently Wawel Castle was the home of many kings between the 14th and 18th century. But what impresses me the most is actually the architectural. If you look at all different styles together, medieval, renaissance, baroque, all blended together very nice this is a really recommended place to visit really beautiful the cathedral very nice so i did visit the cathedral before but unfortunately they don't allow it to film or make photos inside which is really a shame to be honest but yeah what can i say rules are rules well 
though this is the best view on the castle, but also the loudest. Like I said, also the loudest. <laughs> I came to the end of my trip to Krakow, so tomorrow I'll leave for Katowice, so more adventures will come soon, so see you soon guys. <laughs>